decreasing the time from discovery to treatment. That's one of the major goals of the Genomic Data Commons. The Genomic Data Commons is a system which brings together all of the available data that cancer researchers can use and processes it and makes it easy for them to use it for their own individual research. So it's a way of accelerating the speed at which cancer research can be done. The Genomic Data Commons was publicly launched at the University of Chicago in 2016. It uses information from the National Cancer Institute and allows analysis and sharing of large amounts of cancer data in real time. It's not possible to do this without access to large amounts of data uh, because it's the comparison of the individual patient to large groups of patients that en enables us to personalize the therapies. Data is vital to scientific discovery. Large amounts of data are particularly important with cancer research. We are in a great time of transition to go from fairly empiric administration of traditional chemotherapy to uh, personalized uh, approaches to each patient. And in doing so, having precise data, particularly genetic data on what makes up a particular cancer, is very important to us. Bob Grossman is a computer scientist by training, working in an area of clinical data analysis. His expertise is developing a system that can take huge amounts of data and make it accessible and easy to use by researchers all over the world for free. Traditionally, pancreatic cancer would be one disease or maybe distinguished by different histology or other types of characteristics, but by looking at the molecular structure of the mutations in pancreatic cancer, we get multiple subtypes. That Each month, more than one petabyte of data is downloaded from the system. That's the equivalent of a thousand terabytes, a huge amount of information that is stored on University of Chicago and commercial servers. So it's massive amounts of work, actually, to generate the data that go into this system, right? Uh, once you start to have the data coming through, then you you can mine things in real time, you can uh, analyze uh, these very complex data sets. The research done with this information can be very fast. In some cases, a patient can even benefit from a clinical trial developed by the use of their own tumor tissue. The rapid pace allows a patient to benefit directly through their own participation. The key to the commons is to make huge amounts of high quality data available to any researcher who wants it. This should accelerate the discovery of various cancer treatments. So if we could double the pace of discovery in cancer research, we'd be, we'd be more than happy. And so that's what we're trying to do. University of Chicago President Robert Zimmer says using the genomic data commons to fight cancer is an example of the large-scale societal issues the university is willing to take on. Ultimately, you're going to see a huge amount of work come out of this, which is not just research, uh, not just medical care, uh, but entrepreneurial work in terms of actually thinking about how there are certain ways of utilizing the market to maximize the impact of the work. The Polsky Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation at the University of Chicago is primed to help maximize that impact. The Polsky Center works with entrepreneurs to help develop business strategies that will get helpful treatments and therapies to the marketplace quickly. By virtue of that deep relationship being in place, we enhance speed to market and that that means that those discoveries that will change lives and save lives make it to the market faster than they ever would have otherwise. The value of the data commons is being seen by many researchers. Now others want to expand on the expertise of Grossman's team. Well, I think one of the things we're proudest of is not only have we built the genomic data commons, but we've used the lessons learned from that and we've produced open source software that um, we've now used to build over 10 other commons. There is now data commons for brain health and one for infectious diseases. Data for heart, lung, and blood issues is also being focused on by the University of Chicago team. Ultimately, this will all lead to more data for researchers to study in real time, allowing them to make discoveries more quickly and save lives all over the world. So the university's entire basis from its beginning and continued through every single person's experience who's been at the university is this deep devotion to rigorous inquiry around the most important problems of our times, whether the problems are scientific, social, cultural, uh, every one of them should be approached through uh, depth of analysis and absolute rigor in, in thought.